Guys, this is uh, Eric with Yeti Work. Sorry for the uh, crappy videography, but I don't have an assistant, so I'm making do with what I got. All right, I'm here today to show you da -da -da, the brand new Yeti Work speed loader. So the point today is I figured it was easier to show than to tell how to use it. So I'm gonna uh, videotape this and post it online and uh, add a link to this instead of putting the physical instructions in because I think this would be less confusing. First, I'd like to start off with saying that uh, it'll work without lube, but it works best with lube like most things in life. So use your favorite, uh, actually cream-based lube would work best, but I just have this three-in-one that I'm putting on there and I've actually pre-lubed it. So just put a little bit of Duya kind of down the sides of the track on each one. From there, you take it, you got the knob in the front there, put that on the front of your magazine, kind of slide it over, and then put a little bit of downward pressure on it, because uh, when you don't have any rounds in there, you have the, uh, the nubbin on the follower that sticks out. Just kind of push that down a little bit, but that'll be a non-issue after you get rounds in there. So go through there, should easily slide through and pick up all your rounds. And what I found is, Put the lip of the speed loader on your table and then using the applying pressure to the body of your mag, not necessarily just with the head, makes it go a lot easier and just apply direct straight forward pressure. And then the way all these speed loaders work, there will always be kind of one left in the chute. So just leave that in there when you uh, select your next bunch, push it through and you shouldn't have any issues at all go through so you'll actually technically need 31 to load 30 in your uh, magazine if you're doing 30 round mags but that really shouldn't be that big of a deal um, just put that last one back in your tray and uh, it goes pretty quick after you get it get it down and it makes loading the 30 round mags a heck of a lot easier so I uh, I actually skipped a couple on accident, but as you can see, I got a uh, full mag uh, talking through you and doing all this pretty quick. So if I wasn't talking and doing it fast, um, you could do it a heck of a lot quicker than I did. And I, uh, I've used it a bit, but I'm by no means a pro with this thing yet. Uh, and then when you're done, pretty much after you're done with the day, uh, a little bit of keep, make sure there's no crud, uh, no debris building up in your tracks. Uh, so just kind of wipe it out at the end of the day, but you really shouldn't have an issue with it. And one thing I do want to guard against or warn you against, so when you have your rounds on here, don't push it like that. If you push it towards the end of your bullet right here, that could cause it to go cockeyed in the track and actually gouge it out. Um, so for, and that could, just ruin it. So like I said, my recommendation, set the lip of the guide itself on your table and then apply direct forward pressure. Uh, and that will make sure everything occurs uh, or keeps working just fine. Otherwise, I, uh, you should get a lot of use out of this thing and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you for your support and uh, have a good day. Thank you, bye.